Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Pokemon Radical Red. We're here at the Pokemon League. We're here where we belong, but we need to belong at the top, at the Champion's Peak. On the last one, <clears throat> we had a really interesting battle against Lance. We puzzled out some interesting thoughts, and <clears throat> we thought we were going to win, but we didn't win because of us not remembering they had more Pokemon. But one thing we did do was lower the IV on our HP on Zoroark. Sounds crazy, but hear me out. Dialga should guarantee one shot it now. And that's what we were looking for. So let's see if we can't make it happen on this one. I know we use Zora for Agatha, and it probably will get knocked out maybe now by the Thunderbolt on Gengar. But that's probably still fine, because we still leave that battle with lots of Pokemon anyways. Hopefully, we can break the system a little bit here and use the IV lowering technology, not for Trick Room, but for other other reasons. Have these reasons ever been used before? I have no idea. I'm kind of curious to know if anyone's ever used them other than Trick Room, but we've done it, and we're gonna see how it works out for us. No burn, please? Good, we're off to a good start here. We're exactly where we wanna be. Dual Wing get over here, get a Thunder Punch over here as well. We lower our attack. We get burned, but we get this Kingdra out of here. At least that. And we'll get some damage here, not too much though. Okay. <clears throat> Who do we want next? I think it's Weavile, and I think it's Zapdos. And it's gonna be, I think it's just an Ice Shard on you, and then a Dual Wing Beat on you as well. Ouch, that's unfortunate. That is the exact way we didn't want that to go. So we're going to try this time, this way. They went for Weavile this time. I kind of hate it. Because I think we maybe just can't win now. Swampert coming out is kind of jokes. Let's see if we can do it. We'll get all that HP back. Kyogre is just really strong. And so I'm not sure if we'll be able to do it here. And that's just a lot of HP gone, and I think we're gone. Okay. Could have changed it up a little bit there, could have won that battle, but um, definitely thought that Weavile was going to get knocked out sooner. Let's make the difference. And win. Get in there. Do we get over here? Thunder Punch? Not really. That one there. Cool. We get burned. It's a bad start. It's pretty bad. Lowers our attack. We, they missed on Mel Metal, however, and we didn't get the knockout. Unfortunate. I think that should take itself out, and we'll end up not getting the Politoed. Maybe not a bad thing. This, however, is it going to be the same thing? Is not. A little worse, then. Try and land the shots here. It's unfortunate. It's a big, big hit. Go for you. Giga. I don't think we have what it takes here. I gotta be honest. Because they still have Kyogre and they still have Dracofish. It's too much. It's too much. I don't like it. I'm not a fan of it. We're gonna try and put you to sleep, but I don't think it's gonna make a difference. Ah. <laughs> what happened? It's not Zoroark, we know that. The burn is being really annoying, that's for sure. Um, let's switch these two and see if that makes a little bit of a difference for us. Get it back in here, and let's win this time. I'm gonna go for the Thunder Punch. Is it gonna knock out? It's not. We got burned over there. At least that, I guess. Missed Salamence, or missed Melmetal. We're both burned now. Holy moly. How did they even manage to burn us all the time? Ice Punch is coming in. That was expected. That damage is just awful. Yes, you're coming out now. Giga Drain over here. Earthquake? I don't know if I should be mad or not. But we're going to clear the board. And we still have a few options. Potentially. Both very strong options. Kind of hate them both. 
I think it still has to be Ice Shark, and I think we do need to put somebody to sleep. I'm gonna put you out as bait for Dracofish. Because I need to heal. Huge. Huge? Is it enough to make the difference? I don't know yet. But it's still huge. Vicious Rend over there is just crazy. I don't think we survive. Damn it, dude. <laughs> what is this battle? Why, why, why? Holy. Holy. Let's take a second here just to check our team, make sure they're all statted properly. Yep. Okay. At least that. At least all their natures are proper now. I feel like every single time we add a new Pokemon, we forget that. And then it just, it doesn't end up well for us. You know what? We're gonna paralyze you. Try and buy some turns that way. The damage we don't really need. And hopefully this way. Got a Thunder Punch still here. Hopefully this way. They miss Mel Metal again. And the Paralyze does land. These are good things for us. They're gonna use, they're not gonna use Earthquake, they're gonna use Ice Punch. So I think Salamence is gone. It's alright. We get burned, of course. Why wouldn't we? Um, yeah, just do Thunder Punch again, I guess. Actually, I think you're knocked out no matter what. But let's, let's Giga Drain over here. I think it's Earthquake. It is. They get melted away. We get our HP all the way back. I feel like we're in the exact same situation all over again. Let's go with you first. These are the last two. So if we can focus in on two of them, or one of them, this is just better. Let's focus in on here. Damn it, dude. Damn it. I mean, uh, this is the reason why we didn't beat Lance. Can we find out if we're faster? We're not. We're not. We are definitely not. And we're gonna lose again. <laughs> oh! Why is she so good now? Why is she so good? Why is she better than us? Um, so we're not faster than Dracofish. I'm glad then on the last one we didn't end up doing something that didn't make sense. Um, in using a move that didn't just give us the damage we needed. So at least that. I'm gonna go for Thunder Wave here. Probably should have already done so. Leaving it on one HP like that is awful, but this historically has actually been good for us, this setup. I think we usually win with this setup right here. Because, yeah, now you get knocked out too. Because we can't outspeed you that way. You get bounced there, that's fine. So I think we're just down to the la their last two. Yeah, and Swampert gets... Swampert gets bounced like this. Close combat, if we can land it, that'd be great. I don't think so, though. Ooh, we can. Ooh! Okay. We're gonna be totally fine. Okay, so that's what we want. <laughs> if we can make it happen every time, that would be a different problem. But for now, we move on. Salamence out front. We take on Bruno, and we win. <clears throat> this weekend upcoming, this episode is for Friday. Um, I'm gonna be out of town. And so I'm gonna be recording these probably back to back now. Um, because I won't be here. Why did that not one shot him? Why was that a thing? Nothing's changed on Salamence. I hate it. I'll tell you that much. I do hate it. Okay. But Sal it wasn't faster than us either. <clears throat> they might use U-turn though if they come back out. Or they bring out you and I just hate everything. <laughs> um, I think we chuck you out here. You get bounced. No problem. You come out. Use Leech Seed. 
Because that should give us enough to survive here. And then we leech seed on you as well. And you hate that as well, so they're probably going to switch again. Because they're just crazy. And then we're going to leech seed on you too. Wow. I don't think you're going to be... Wow. Just wow. That's honestly just impressive. Holy dude. Not like this. Not like this, but it's going to be like this, isn't it? Wow. Wow, 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 wowie, wow, wow. One swords dance. Gets you like that, eh? Damn, dude. Today's not the day, but it needs to be the day. Is the issue, right? I got places to be. And we need to win. What this is shaping up to be is, I, I'd like to start a new series soon. Obviously, we've been grinding this out for a while, and we haven't really got anywhere. And so, I still need to work on some things for that new series. But, we might end up starting a new series while this one is still going on, in this stage. Because there's only so much that I can do during this to make it good. And to make it work. I shot over here, knock him out. Please. Skull keeps us in the game. Take the hits here. We're actually just faster, so let's go for this, I guess, here. Oh, even better. Even better. Wow, we got a crit. It's a miracle. We got a crit. Okay. Why, why can't they always be that easy? Why can't it always be that easy? Someone tell me this. Riddle me the answer to this question. It's Infernape. Saved. <laughs> Saved. We can win this one. Saved. They're crazy. Oh, they're actually crazy in a good way, though. For them. Behemoth Bash, no big deal. Close combat. Doesn't get us. Get wrecked, get bounced. Say Sayonara. That's alright. I think we are going to go with Venusaur here. As crazy as that might be. Get Leech seated. Hmm. Unfortunately, that was going to be in inevitable. But now you might be able to just steamroll. Get a lot of moxie going. The U-turns are going to be the death of you. Yeah, this is over for you. It's good stuff. I think we're fine, though. I believe we can be fine. Dueling beat here should be good. Close combat would have been even better. But we didn't need it. That's okay. Okay. Here's where we should be getting very easily every single time, and where we'd first see the difference with Zorark. We'll see if it happens. It is a fake Gengar. That's okay. That means this team has this, this Pokemon right here. I think we're just going to bust through it. We got through one. Get through one more. Come on. Beautiful. Beautiful. Bring out Aegislash. We can switch out on this one. That's fine. And we're going to find out what exactly happens when... Oh, no. The Toxic, though. Toxic might be, might be the difference. It is. Oh! <laughs> That's okay. I think it's totally fine. Um, it's not ideal, but it's- I think it's actually fine. I think you can come out here and actually just one-shot him. I don't think they can one-shot you. Oh, you can't, though. That's fine. They're gonna use Sludge Wave. Oh. That's news to me. Oh, still get wrecked. Yeah. Here... I think you're actually kind of crazy here, right? Because you can tank the hits pretty good. We flinched. That's okay. Don't get the knockout, but you'll get it here. Then Marshadow, depending on what you do. Use the good move. You use the good move. There we go. Okay. So, if we don't get toxic, maybe Gengar? But no, no guarantees there. Into the battle with Lance we go, a little later than I thought we'd get to it.
but that's okay. We're gonna make the switch, and then we're gonna make the switch, and we're gonna make a couple more switches here. And then one more. We'll end with Weavile. If it's Aerodactyl, we know what to switch to. If it's not, if it's Garchomp, we're okay too. We can deal with it. I'd prefer it not to be Garchomp though. I would prefer it not to be. They are gonna switch, and they go to Melmetal. Double Iron Bash probably on the horizon. You gotta bring out your own. Just to eat that hit. The crit was not like not nice. Okay. Let's slow it down here. <clears throat> Earthquake's coming out again. You can come out, close combat. Won't get hit. Smell metal survives. That surviving might be a switch we need to make Zoroark work. So I think it's worthwhile. Huge miss. Well, huge miss. Expected miss. You get knocked out. Defenses are down. Totally okay by me. Salamance comes out. It's gonna buff and then completely go all out on our team. And so I think we still have to hit it. Despite this not being super effective. Or even regularly effective. They're double edging off the bat. That's okay. I think that's totally okay. Because now our Salamence can come out and go first. And knock it out. We got a crit too. It was lucky, but that's okay. We'll take it. I expect Dialga. It's not, it's Dragonite. Okay. They have Outrage. In the past, sometimes they don't use it. Kind of a wild move, I know. But sometimes they don't use it. I can't have Salamence go yet. They still have Dragonite, Dialga, uh, Dracofish, or the other one. I think it's the other one, the the electric one. Um, and I think something else. Melmetal is gone. Do I want to put ours out there now and have it sacrifice here instead? I can only imagine they're going to go for Outrage. I think they're going to go for Outrage. I still need Weavile. Venusaur is kind of up in the air if it's useful. But I think we do this. They go for the dual wing beat. I'm thoroughly disappointed, honestly. They go for the earthquake though. I can live with that, I think. Because now Weavile, I believe, can still do it. So long as they land all the shots. You piece of garbage. They're gonna use flamethrower here. We're in the same situation now, but they have more Pokemon left. They're gonna use flamethrower. That might now knock you out. It might also not. <clears throat> if it doesn't knock us out, we want this in there. So now the IVs going down might have been exactly what we didn't want. Because we're in this type of situation. They will 100% use Flamethrower. I think you have to risk by putting this out there. We still have the same defenses. It went to sleep. I don't even know if that's better or worse. So long as it lands a hit here... It better land a hit here. Two out of four chance. 50%. Huge. Dialga is gone. Dialga is out of the battle. Okay. They still have Dragonite. They still have that Arctazult or whatever that name is. What do we put out here? If you come out here, it's guaranteed Dragonite. Guaranteed. They still have Garchomp too. Oh no. Garchomp, we need you. We need you for Garchomp. We need you for Garchomp. <clears throat> we believe you're faster than Garchomp because Garchomp chooses to switch instead of attack you at the beginning. So you have to be our last Pokemon. If Salamence comes out, they might bring out Garchomp right away. If you come out, they're going to bring out Dragonite. If you come out, I don't know what they're gonna bring out, but I can't bring you out. I cannot bring you out, because if they bring out that Arctazolt, I don't think we can one-shot, and they're gonna have a better chance of knocking us out, and if you're gone, we're gone. I think we have to sacrifice you to the Dragonite to then put something, one of these two out there, likely Salamance, and then go from there. We just need to know what Pokemon's coming out here, and this is the only way we can put something out here. 
on top of it being like a Pokemon we don't use much in, in Venusaur. If I can just break through a little bit here. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. They're faster than Weavile now. You have to come out here and one-shot them. We still go first. It has to finish him, though. Ice Shard might be a play. Huge. Huge. Absolutely huge. It is Garchomp, though, now. Garchomp will knock us out. But we can't switch. And so I just don't know if Weavile can take out the last Pokemon. I don't think the answer is yes to that question. Which I hate to say. They're using Roar. Kind of a nuts move. Doesn't do them any favors whatsoever. Wow, they just threw. They actually threw the battle? Why would you use Roar? It's a misclick? Yeah, it's the Draco's ult. Do we go first? Or do we just go for this? I think I just go for this and trust Salamence to do it. I need to land the land of damage. It's super effective. We might get a crit. Yeah, that's amazing. It's not even a crit either. Bolt Beak. It doesn't even get us. We're going to get him with two Ice Shards. Kind of crazy, ladies and gentlemen. The IV play has paid off. Maybe in a weird way. <laughs> Maybe in a weird way, but Weavile could take a hit from the Bolt Beak anyways. So even if Salamence did get knocked out, it was totally okay. 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 You have to be now front. Talonflame's no longer on the squad. In theory, you might be able to also go in front to use your um, moves I forget the names to. Wow, I can just switch over here. Dual Wing Beat. I don't know if you're faster than their, their Fer Feramosa. Likely you would be, but I don't know. And so without knowing, I'm not sure if I'm comfortable. Because if they land a Stealth Rock, like that just ends the battle for us. We need to find a way to use you with um, Destiny Bond. That's my objective. Making sure we actually get to use that. Salamence to start, dual wing B goes out. What do they have? Do they have a steel type? I want to say they did. But you, you're the one with the Melt Metal. You have the Melt Metal. What do they put out that kind of hard counters our flying moves? They have the Eternatus, the Veltal. The Groudon. <laughs> the Groudon. Don't forget about that one. Um, if they bring out Groudon after we knock out Feramosa, what do we do? Who do we turn to? Again, Groudon would be a great candidate for you. Hmm. Huh. Because like, if you did go faster than the Feramosa, this would be amazing. But I don't know if I can trust that information. The information being my mind palace, thinking that might be a thing. 279 is fast. It doesn't seem like a fast Pokemon either, but if it has a quick claw or something, an item we don't. I think you just go with Salamence, and you play by ear. Here we go. It's been a while since we've been at the Champion's Throne. Let's see if we can't make something special happen here. Feramosa comes out. Should be an easy one shot for us. They're switching out. Groudon coming out. That's cringe. That is extremely cringe. They know exactly what they're doing. Who would have thought? Okay. Fire ground type. Um, I don't even really know ground... Um, Gro Gro oh my gosh, Groudon's moveset. Can't really remember much of it. What would go good against Salamence? In theory, nothing they have. Ground or fire type. But Salamence can't stay. I mean, it's, it's not using moves that are effective. i love to throw you out there just to sacrifice, but I need you to sacrifice in a different way. Mel Metal also kind of odd to throw away. It might have to be Zapdos.
What about you, though? Let's go with you. You're not Mega Evolved. It's kind of annoying. Paralyze is also annoying. Don't get me wrong. But maybe we can do something with this. The Veltal comes out. Okay. The game of switches has begun. Black Hole. Move incoming here. You can take the shot. You have to be able to. You're Dark type. Your defenses are actually not that bad. Your special is actually pretty good. I think you have to switch here. Eat the Black Hole. And then go first. Oblivion Wing. Flying type move. They also heal themselves off that. That's kind of wild. I need to go first though. I do go first. You need to hit all three. Hit all three, please. Great crit off the first one. That's a lot the third one needs to do. It lands at the very least. Huge. Huge. Okay. <laughs> We're in the battle. We're officially in the battle. A Pokemon's been knocked out. Groudon making a return. Okay. We will land a shot here. I think it needs to be night. I mean, these are also neutral, but the... It's ice. It's not water moves. I think I have to do this again. I was not going to use it because, like, the sun and, you know, sun melts ice, but that's not how the game works, I don't think. That only works on water moves to, to neutralize them. As far as I know. We can also swipe its item. I don't even know what item it has, if it has any. I guess let's find out. It definitely does have a held item. Um, we have to go first. I, I can't imagine we don't. This has to do more damage. Potential for crits. Not great. Not great. Not great. Fire punch. Expected. Expected. Great move. Now what? I don't even want to bring you out now, because it seems like Groudon's so close to getting actually knocked out. Does a Salamence Earthquake sound like it could do enough? It feels like it would do enough. Eternatus, I don't know if it's Levitate. I feel like it has pressure. And so even if they do switch, we still land something. I gotta believe you can knock this out. It's super effective. Doesn't mean Salamence is currently stuck with Earthquake. As its only move. It does get it done. Okay. They are bringing out Pheromosa. And we're stuck with this move. And it's actually not very effective. Very, very mega cringe for them to do that. I think I'm going to switch to Zapdos and, and trust that it can do it. I don't know if they have Stealth Rock. But even if they do, it, it is what it is. Triple Axle. Wow. We have waited the second one. Huge. They go first though. They are faster than Zapdos. Mega cringe. Okay, Zapdos ends up being a sacrifice. Beast boost, speed rose. Hopefully that doesn't make it faster than Salamence. It makes it faster than Salamence. Oh my goodness. They're gonna hit all three. Damn it, dude. Oh, that hurts so bad. Um, wow, triple axle. Weird move for them to have. They're faster than you, so you can't even go out there either. It's gotta kinda be you, but they are fighting type, which makes it really weird. They're gonna U-turn. Terrible move, but they make the switch. The damage is so close to actually being enough, but it's not. And they're gonna Mega and it's gonna do less. You gotta still do it. They have Fire Punch. Bunch of nerds. <clears throat> okay, um... <laughs> <laughs> um, damn it. Pheromosa should have lost its boosts, though, because they switched. So at the very least, we're going to get knocked out after we knock him out. What are they going to bring back out? Ditto. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. u turn is going to be too good against you. But at the same time, Destiny Bond us now. We don't know, like, we'll find out what Pheromosa has, I guess. Just Destiny Bond him. Get knocked out. Get him out of here. They still have Eternatus, too. <laughs> they still have big Pokemon. 
they have actually ginormous Pokemon. You gotta try. You'll find out what happens here. Isn't that better against Mega Pokemon? No, we won't even find out. We won't even find out. That's a good battle, though. Because I think... Oh. Okay, we will find out. We will find out. It's pretty good. Maybe. Maybe Salamence can get, get it done. Let's check our stats here. Literally one HP last Pokemon. Yeah, 321. Hmm. Oh, we have thick fat. Interesting. <laughs> That's why we survived that hit. Um... Yeah, Salamence might be able to one-shot with Earthquake, because this is also 90, not 100. Good to know. Good to know. We do lose this one, but we got back to the champion. We had a really good battle with them, and uh, we learned something about Pheromosa. And we learned something about Zapdos. Zapdos cannot um, go first on Pheromosa, and Pheromosa has a nasty move in that triple, uh, triple axle. Okay, things were learned on this episode. It started off rough, but we made a good comeback and made a good run out of it. Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed the episode, as always, hit that like button, subscribe, comment down below. Again, I'm away for the weekend, but I'll check those comments when I get back. And i see you on the next episode. Till then.